Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create ocean wave and floating board with the help of Maya 2023 and Adobe After Effects. Our final result will be just like this one. So let's get started. Take a polygon plane. Open channel box. Type scale XYZ 60. Subdivision white and height type 300. Rename this one as flood. Now go to edit, delete by type, delete history. Go to modify, freeze transformation. Take a polygon cube, scale the cube, and give the cube like a boat formation that means boat like formation if you want to see how to make a boat in maya 2023 i have also a tutorial about this so i will give you the link of the video in the description box so i skip the video Move the boat here as shown. Move it slightly down. On frame 1, press S to make a key. Move the time slider to frame 30. Move the boat here. Press S to make another key. Move the time slider to frame 60. Rotate the boat and move it as shown move it here press s to make another key move the time slider to 110 frame rotate the board move it as shown again press s to make another key Again, move the time slider to frame 150. Rotate the board. Rotate and move it as shown. Now press S to make another key. Now select the flood. Change modeling menu to FX menu. Open the boss editor. Click create web solver. Minimize the boss refall or web generator window. Go to frame 1. Click play and see the effect. See nothing is happening. Pause. Turn off the grid. Web height type here 1.8. Now select the board. Click add geo influence to selected solver. Click play and see the effect. See this time it is showing some influence effect on your web solver. Select this one. Amplitude type here 5. Now go to frame 1. Click play and see the effect see again go to frame 1 maximize the boss refall or web generator window click create a spectral web and rename this one as water foam minimize the boss refall or web generator window go to attribute editor web height type here 2 Now click play and see the effect. Pause. Click use horizontal displacement. Click on the box. Again click play and see the effect. Web size type here 2. Again click play and see the effect.
Now pause. Wind speed type here 6. Again go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. Now again open boss refill or web generator window. Go down, click enable form, just click on the box, type minimum cuffs 0 0.026, again go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. Now maximize the boss refill or web generator window. Create another spectral web and rename this one as water. Select the web solver. Select this one. Type amplitude to 8. Minimize the web solver window. Again go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. Web height type here point 0.4. Now click play and see the effect. Maximize the boss refill or web generator window. Click cache all. This will take time. The time will depend on the power of your computer. So I skip the video. Now see my file has been cached. When cache complete all of the icon will go green. Now select the boss output, press shift plus T on your keyboard. This will pop up the material window. Select Arnold shader, select AI standard surface shader and rename this one as water. Click preset, deep water, click replace. Now deselect and see the effect. Select the boss output again. Go to attribute editor, select the water material. Go down, maximize the emission. Wait, click on the wet color checker box, select file and connect the spectral web water foam cache file. Connect the file foam.foam002, click select. To see the texture effect, click on the texture color icon. Now go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. This is the end of the part one. I will see you on the next lesson. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.